Hello, everyone. I'm Meredith Coleman McGee. I am uh, the author of eight works. I'm also the uh, publisher of Meredith, etc. And this is my uh, book talk. And for one hour, I will be sharing with you uh, excerpts of some of my works. And uh, I hope that uh, you will be able to you will enjoy the uh, discussion, and also I hope that you will be able to uh, purchase those that are interesting uh, to you. So I want to first start by showing you uh, what a whole look. These are seven of my works. And this is uh, a picture dictionary that uh, I did, which is one of my later uh, works. So I'm gonna start with the first work, which is uh, a memoir about Darlene Collier. It's called Married to Senior. And this is the first book that I published and co-authored with Darlene Collier, Senior. She's, uh, she lives in, uh, Random Mississippi, but she's a native of Heidelberg, Mississippi. Okay, so I'm going to read the. Uh, these are Miss Darlene's words. It took years to complete Marriage to Sin, which is based on factual yet unbelievable events that happened to me and my family, but every word of it is true. We must fight even when it seems useless. We must repent and forgive to free ourselves from self-imprisonment. Every tree has a root. We must dig deep to find the root of our problems in order to deem ourselves. Redemption gives us opportunities which allow us to blossom. Defeat renders darkness upon us, but achievement gives us a beacon of light. Darlene D. Kaya. Now I want to read a, a couple of the endorsements. Marriage to Sin is a compelling description of family dysfunction and poverty. The authors recreate a world teeming with life, suffering, and destruction, marked with grace, notes of endurance, faith, self assertion, and hope. Starry Kruger, and she's the author of the whole works the autobiography of a young American couple. And next uh, endorsement is by my mother. She's the author of my brother, J. Boy, and the co-author of a story about James H. Meredith. This family experienced awful temple violations, but in the end, you rejoice upon discovering how Collier sold the unraveled pieces back together. Hazel Janelle Meredith. And next, uh, Phyllis Robinson, who is a, a local TV personality and host. Married to Sin deserves an A. Super written. The reader can visualize the stir, which chronicles Educational inequality, family secrets, lies, sexual abuse, personal abuse, incest, and poverty. And um, my uncle wrote James H. Meredith, first black to go to Ole Miss. This is an ex extremely important book. Everyone interested in the Alex, you the last 60 years of Black people should read it. And he himself is the author of Mission from God, 
a memoir and challenge for America, three years in Mississippi, me and my kind and oral history and uh, a whole list of other works. Uh, and then um, my aunt, his wife, Dr. Jude Meredith, she wrote, I think Kaya was brave to speak out because not only is it therapeutic for her, it is a testament to many others who are victims themselves yet have been quiet for fear of being wrongfully judged. And Judy A. Meredith is the author of Closing the Glass Ceiling, an analysis of women, administrators in public universities in the South. So again, this is Marriage to Sin. It's a memoir about Darlene Collier. She's a native of Heidelberg, Mississippi, and she presently lives in Brandon, Mississippi. This was my first published work with a uh, car we co wrote it. And it was, uh, we started Mo's Dance the Press, named for her grandfather in 2011, and we published uh, this uh, book. My second book was Odyssey. Of course, this is the second edition of Odyssey. And people here is my great grandmother. And her name was Roxy Patterson. And um, she was born in Center, Mississippi, which is on the outskirts of Kosciuszko, Mississippi. But this is a collection of my writings covering 20 years. It includes um, poetry, um, three chapters of poetry. Uh, several of my speeches, and then uh, articles which I published mostly in the uh, Jackson Advocate as a contributing writer. And then the last chapter is uh, the study which I completed as uh, a, a requirement to obtain my master's degree in rural community development. And um, I had two advanced praises for this collection of works. One was by um, my older cousin, Barbara Mayor Departin. Uh, she lives in Michigan. And she said, the prose and poetry and odyssey are both deep and thought provoking as each one tells a different story that speaks of the human struggle. Civil rights history of James Meredith and others reflect the odyssey of a Southern journey. We can all profit from the small business interests. And then uh, Alexis Spencer Byers, who is the author of Urban Verses, which is her own collection of poetry, is stepping out from the shadows, which she co-wrote um, with another local author, which is her memoir, which I found very interesting. I read it. Um, anyway, Alexis Mr. Byers writes, Meredith Coleman McGee writes honestly about pain, and frailty, and difficult social issues, yet her poems reflect a tenacity, tenacious, sometimes surprising hope and the possibilities of transformation healing, and wholeness. And uh, Juanita Britt, who is an award-winning author of many collections of poetry and uh, memoirs, I mean novels, uh, she wrote, Meredith's verse is a strong and edgy look at the everyday issues of life, from family ties to political lives helping us see ourselves more clearly her lens. Is it any wonder her uncle is famed civil rights icon, James Meredith? Okay, then um, this is the second edition of James Meredith Warrior and the America that made it. This book, Retails for $28.88. 
and it includes um, 338 pages. The first edition actually uh, retails higher in this 233 pages. It was uh, published by uh, Prager Publishing, ABC Clio, which uh, is a textbook uh, supplier. And they converted this biography into a textbook. And the reason why they, their edition sells more than this is because they have the first edition. I uh, published the second edition through our small press, Meredith, et cetera. And uh, even though there are um, more pictures and this uh, biography includes more information on the subject matter, my uncle, who was the first man to go to Ole Miss. So I'm going to read the endorsements for James Meredith Warden and the American Academy, which is a biography on my uncle James Meredith in the context of the American that created in his generation. So the first uh, endorsement comes from William F. Winter, who was the governor of Mississippi from 1980 to 1984. And he says, this is a remarkable commentary on the life and career of an exceptional man who has always marched to his own drumbeat. James Meredith remains an uh, enigma to many, but all of us has been compelled to admire his courage and independence. This volume represents a fascinating insight not only into the identity of this intriguing human being, but also into the many, into many of the historic events of the stormy times in which he lived. It is important uh, addition to our understanding of our conflicted past, but just as important recognition of our common humanity. And Alice Thomas Tisdale, uh, who was the publisher of the Jackson Advocate, um, she wrote the second endorsement. And um, Alice Tisdale actually was, is one of my mentors. And I started writing professionally at the Jackson Advocate uh, after I completed college uh, in the uh, early nights, I completed college in the late days when I started writing professionally for the Jackson Avenue. Under her and the late Charles Tisdale, uh, who was a late husband at that time. So this is what she said. As piercing and as lasting as the shotgun pellets which wounded him in 1966, this straightforward account of Mississippi's most herald living freedom fighter is presented without excuse or pause by his niece, Meredith, who is herself a heron or against injustice. And the, uh, the last of the local uh, people in my local area in Mississippi wrote an endorsement was the late Dorothy Stewart, uh, the founder of Women Progress. Uh, and she's a long time family, a friend of our of family. And she mentored me and other uh, people in my family, including my younger nieces. And uh, this is what Miss Dorothy wrote. James Meredith of War and the American that created him is a wonderful and much needed book on one of my personal history makers. Thank you for providing such an insightful portrait of your uncle, civil rights icon, James H. Meredith. Your book will provide a positive demonstration of the man at that critical period of American history. 
Congratulations on a job well done. I strongly endorse and encourage everyone to read your book. Thank you, uh, Victor, for coming. And I um, just um, discussed uh, three of my books. I, did, I read some of uh, really the endorsements. Marriage to See It, Odyssey, which is a collection of my writing of James Meredith. And I have a volume of children book. I created a character named Nishida, and Nishida teaches civics and history. And the first volume is Nishida visit Smith Robinson. Museum. And um, of all the museums that Nishida has visited, this is her favorite. has been my favorite museum. Although I've been to uh, all of them more than once, I really like the Smith Robinson Museum because uh, it presents such rich history. One of my favorite writers graduated from there, eighth grade, Richard Wright. And uh, my brother attended Smith Robinson School when they cl uh, closed it after integration in 70 and 71. Have you ever read that one, Vic? <coughs> well, anyway, um, After watching the movie Selma, seven-year-old Nishida was shocked about race relations. Her parents vowed to teach Nishida America's unruly past. Nishida shares her adventure journey to history. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, This book is dedicated to Smith Robinson, former slave from Fayette, Alabama. <laughs> Who migrated to Jackson after the Civil War, became a local barber, the city's first Negro, I hope, but, and an advocate to educate his race. And this is um, a part of the Moses Meredith Culture House children book series. And Moses Meredith was my grandfather. He was born in Noxipata, Mississippi in 1891. And he passed in uh, 1965. Second Nishida book is Nishida Visits the Mississippi State Capitol. Uh, the first one is a is a picture book with historical pictures. And the second book is a, a chapter book. This was published in 2017. And these are the uh, chapters. Local history, four governors from 1900 to 1916. Uh, and the city tour of the Mississippi State Capitol, which is a, a great, I recommend all children, all children to all of the museums in the city of Jackson, because um, it's just, it's just so much value in a child um, touring a museum because they, you can, a child, the whole family can learn from any museum. Uh, 
So I'm just gonna read it down. This is the uh, <clears throat> uh, chapter one, local, local history. I'm gonna read the paragraph. In 1817, Mississippi became the 20th state to join the United States of America. Mississippi has been nicknamed the Magnolia State and the Hospitality State. The word Mississippi comes from an Indian word which means father of waters. This river is the second largest river in North America. That's a picture of um, Mississippi River between Natchez and uh, Valadeo. <clears throat> Once upon a time, white settlers were looking for land in the center of Mississippi to build our state capital. At that time, our main government buildings were in Natchez, Mississippi. Natchez is on the Mississippi River near, near Vidalia, Louisiana. State cars drive over the Mississippi River across the bridge to get to Natchez to Back then, people took the ferry across Mississippi River to travel from Natchez to Vidalia. And then, um, volume three of, of, of the Nishida book is Nishida Visits Mississippi Old Capital. Uh, and when a child goes to to tour the Mississippi's Old Capitol Museum, they get to see several films. Um, they get to see uh, a lot of exhibits about government, uh, uh, the laws, uh, uh, history. Uh, it's, it's just so rich with our, our history, all, all of the museums. And uh, th this is just an example of some of the historical pictures that are in this. This is a chapter book. So I'm just going to read uh, a couple of uh, paragraphs. Hello, readers and learners. The Sheet of Visits, Mississippi Old Capitol Museum, is the third volume of Moses Merritt of Culture Arts Children's Book Series. This story describes Rashida's tour of the old Capitol Museum at the capital city of Jackson, Mississippi. Rashida, a 10 year old fifth grader, was born in Jackson at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in 2009. Mississippi is a southern state of the United States of America on the continent of North America and the Western Hemisphere. Mississippi joined the Union December 10, 1817. Luxon, Jackson, Gulfport, Fort, and Hattiesburg are the state's four major cities. The Capitol Museum is a key part of the state's rich history. People from around the world visit the capital city to partake of its iconic historical sites and markers. The sheet has been learned in local history through museum tours, historical markers, and extra study. And so uh, this is some of the civics that's in here. Civil rights of freedmen in Mississippi. And here is a, a vagrancy law. This is a, a, a image of uh, Pearl, the Pearl River today. And this is an image of Mississippi uh, with the uh, Indians control. And which was really not that long ago. I mean, they were still here in, uh, in the early, uh, they didn't, they weren't forced to leave until 1830. They had been there for thousands of years. And my, um, 
Uh, this is one of my works, and there are other contributors of this work. It's called My First Book Series. Then we have uh, my picture dictionary. And both, both of these works are for early learners, um, particularly a kindergarten, first and second grade. But my picture dictionary is a dictionary that if you buy it for a kindergarten, they can use it ever as a reference throughout their elementary school. Um, of course, there are um, three. This is the black and white edition, which is six dollars. There are three and four letter words. And then in the back, in the reference section, you have. a map of the United States of America. And, and we, also, we also have a softback full color and a hardback full color. The um, softback full colors are fourteen ninety eight, and the um, hardback full color is a nineteen ninety eight. This is the uh, uh, nouns. Pronouns, uh, a list of fruits and vegetables, and, and this is in color as well. You know, black and white uh, issue for people that have multiple children and want um, a cheaper edition. Um, all the presidents of the United States, including uh, what is it? The three branches of government, the Bill of Rights, a list of all of the uh, vice presidents, which is interesting when you look at the list of vice presidents, a lot of them became president. A world map, a map of Africa. Colors and, and you know all of this is in color available in color as well. Body organs, all of the punctuation, which you have to know all of this punctuation to pass state tests. And you're supposed to actually know the function of a period by kindergarten. A uh, sample sentences, singular, plural, vowels, all of the shapes, and um, this is a, a, a great resource because when a child is five and six, they should be hands-on, pencil, crayon, uh, rather than the iPhone or the iPad, because uh, a child's motor skills are enhanced when they actually are, are using their hands to draw and color. And so some of the things that we uh, have here is like, I live on Blank Drive Road, so that the child can understand basic important things about geography. And here's uh, learning how to Writing down, word of Mississippi, um, math. But it's all hands on, coloring. And that, that's coloring, and this is uh, uh, counted to 10, 20, 30, up to 100. This is learning the concepts from 24 multiplication. Uh, what a dozen is, eggs and coloring. Two socks and coloring. And the last one is words from uh, Q to Z, like Quaker, uh, Rooster. And it's all hands on in terms of coloring.
Okay. Um, Vicky, which ones have you read? Can you hear? Let me look on last. Okay, so I'm going to put um, the cash app is Meredith, M E R E D I T H T C, and of course the dollar, dollar sign is in front of that. And the website is uh, meredithcetera.com. This is, uh, and you can find these books wherever you buy books. Rashida visits Mississippi's old capital museum. Volume three. Volume two, Nishida visits Mississippi State Capitol, volume two. The hardback is uh, $49.99, but it's on sale now. South back is, uh, is on sale for $5.49. Ebook is $99, and the hardback is $12.99. This is the second edition of Dame Led of Warrior Administrator. It retails for $28.88. First edition retails, the publisher uh, is selling it for $60. And the second edition, which is published by our small press, Middle Center, is $28.88. Odyssey, collection of my writings, poetry, articles, and a study. This is 1998. Then there's a soft edition that you can buy online at Barnes and Noble. It's 11.98. Marriage to Sin is seven dollars and ninety-eight cent. My first book series, which you can uh, also get uh, anywhere you buy books online or from us, uh, uh, is eleven dollars and ninety-eight cent. It's two hundred. Eight pages. And my picture you can there with the reference book is to buy for your kindergarten or uh, first grade and make it all the way through uh, elementary school. Okay, again, you're just tuning in. I'm Meredith Coleman McGee, an author, poet, and a book publisher. And today I'm talking about my eight works, uh, the three Nishida books. Nishida means student. Biography I wrote on James Meredith. Civil rights uh, icon, the first black graduate person to see. Odyssey, a collection of my works dating back 20 years. And this edition is uh, hardback 1998, soft cover is uh, 11 98. Uh, Married to Sin, my first work with Darlene Kanye, co wrote it, is 7 99. My first book series, um, which I wrote, and there are um, other educators and parents that are contributed to this work. The proceeds are donated to the library of Mississippi. And tomorrow is our book club meeting. Uh, you can like our page, Community Library of Mississippi, on Facebook. And I hope you'll join us tomorrow. We'll be reading for one hour and a half from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. And then the last one is my and all the proceeds for community library. Like us on Facebook.
like Twitter, uh, etc., on Facebook. And again, the cash app is Meredith, etc., M E R E G I T H E T C, and of course the dollar symbol in front of Meredith, etc. Thank you for listening. And thank you for uh, tuning in. And if you have any questions, you can uh, uh, ask them below this and I will res respond uh, later. Later. Okay, so uh, Vicki, did you have any questions? Okay, so I'm gonna uh, sign up. Thank you for coming. Have a good one.